Let's look back over the, the two issues that are uh, troubling the coalition right at the moment. The, the, the Channel 7 interview is one and then the conflict over aid to Indonesia. Now, um, on the first one, um, let's first of all see where we agree. Do we agree that um, Tony Abbott did and said nothing wrong in Afghanistan? And just before you answer that, here's Exhibit A, the Defence Minister Stephen Smith on AM. In the terrible and difficult circumstances of the fog of war, often bad things happen. Now, bad things happen to me. That's the same context, same meaning, just different language. Do yeah, we all did, agree with that? She did nothing bad wrong. Shit happens, bad yep, things yep. happen. Same he, said, he said nothing wrong. No, he said well, nothing he wrong. He did nothing okay. wrong beyond succumbing to the absolutely inevitable impulse when a politician is in a field of war to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, yeah, well, and in the American fashion, because he's with okay. American soldiers. Okay, okay. second okay. proposition. Do you also agree that uh, the Channel 7 showed poor judgment um, by initially introducing this story in the way that they did, um, by making the statement that Tony Abbott was insensitive and I don't offensive? Agree. I don't agree. It's not just poor judgment. It is an absolute disgrace. It's a travesty of journalism. It was dishonest. They did not just say insensitive, which is a clip you showed. Offensive. The initial, yep. th or offensive. The initial thing was insults fallen soldier. That's what mm. they said. He'd insulted well a fallen okay. soldier. Okay, Insult they got that wrong. Do you agree, David? They wrong. got that wrong. Okay, so we move on now to, to Tony Abbott's handling of it. I don't think we should and move that on that fast. Why? I think this is the most disgraceful episode I've ever seen of a gotcha attempt on a on a senior politician for a long, long, well, long time. And the reaction from the public... That is the area public, we're now moving into, Andrew. That's the, the area we're no, now moving into. No, the reaction from... It's uh, the media uh, and the yeah. failure of so many Canberra press journalists to see that this is the biggest story. The gotcha attempt and what the public has, has how it's reacted and what it concludes about what the media is, what Abbott's Mark, so Mark chance Riley of getting a Mark fair Riley asked him some is. questions and it was in, in uh, Tony Abbott's um, capabilities to answer them. It, is, it has been the press gallery's uh, very urgent business to turn it from what Channel 7 did to how, to how, to how Tony so Abbott reacted. You couldn't possibly have a more broad and more passionate discussion from all players about exactly uh, about all the aspects of this arrangement and like no, and people have written have. about that and discussed it you no, know? I thought it was a sacking offence frankly all right. I don't think okay. I heard that kind Look, of what we have seen is, uh, is the video right up until the point where, where Tony Abbott um, uh, says that I've given you the answer that, that it deserves right so, so let's go back and look at it up to that point and then it goes on beyond that and I don't think um, very many people have seen what, what went on beyond that so let's look at the whole thing in context How's that turning into a media circus? Yeah, okay, well, tell me, what's the context? And if it's out of context, what is the context? You're not saying anything, Tony. Um, I've given you the response you deserve. Well, what, what's the context, though? If it's not... I've listened to all the tapes. There's three camera angles of that discussion. Are you saying it's not about McKinney, about that operation? Well, what is the right context? I'm asking you. Can I ask you how it's been taken out of context? No. Nothing else to say, Tony. Okay. Just turn the cameras off. Now, can you say, having looked at that, that Tony Abbott is in no way blameless for, for, for what followed? No, you can't. That is just weird. It's extraordinary. Abbott had such simple things to say. All he had to say was, I was not belittling the death of that soldier. I was talking about the horrible circumstances of war in which men like that are killed. That's he all he, that. that is all he needed to say to kill... The, to, no, to, he had already though, said but that. No, he hadn't. He hadn't said it clearly. Well, no, and he, he had said and, it clearly. That's and the he, bit that you saw on TV and, and all the footage. Well, all he had to do was perhaps to, say to it repeat it, to say and it again. again. And again. No, well, it, it, it wasn't a good one. No, 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 it wasn't a good one. No, no, but Andrew, it is indefensibly weird behaviour. The point's already been made by Barry. Right. You're right. You're wrong. He had already said that what, exactly what you said he should have said, he had said. And then he said, you've had your answer. And then he also realised this could be my career going on a gotcha 
So that's clearly not happening. And you also realise you don't walk away from a TV camera and they'll make you look bad anyway. So all these things are going through his mind. Bad look, I agree. He should have been much quicker on his feet. And that's, that's a worry. The thing is, though, the thing is, though, it gets back to the point, the horror in him that's going through him is that that such a malevolent and dishonest attempt should have been made to capture, to, to, to do it. And I think we have to got to he reflect as journalists what's going notice. on here. He was given two hours notice. It wasn't Le an ambush. No, it's the malevolence of he it. He knew so what he was walking It's the into. malevolence of it that's, that's really flabbergasted him. Now, all right, we can say, and I agree, he should have acted much better. I'm worried about it. You're worried about it. Other politicians have lost their tempers too, been lost for words too. Uh, famously, uh, John Howard at the reconciliation thing, banging the lectern, yelling. The, the moment that he regrets most mm. of his public in, in his presentation. 30 seconds of silence would have been a good idea at that uh, point. Exactly. <laughs> and I suspect, I, mm. I suspect what you've just said is part of it too. That he's saying, if I say anything at all, the way I'm feeling, it'll be worse yeah, than saying nothing. Yep. And as a result, you had 30 seconds of... Um, direct gazing at a, at a silent politician's face and eyes of viewer thought, I wonder if he's going to pop him, because that's what I... You uh, know. A lot of blokes and actually yeah, that's immediately what it looks sense like, that. Yeah, to, to, I, to men, I think that, that understands note, more. Can I, can I on that note just inject my um, own theory in here? And that is, it sounds a little odd, but it's all about Tony Abbott's hamstring in one way, because um, it sounds stupid, but he had surgery on this hamstring um, about a week and a half ago. And since then, he's been un unable to go for a run or go for a bike ride, which he normally does twice a day. Now, stick with me. He relies very heavily on physical exercise as an outlet, as a way of keeping fresh, as a way of being relaxed. Now, I'm not saying that's entirely responsible for what happens, but Tony Abbott is a much more nimble person when he is pounded himself on a 90k bike ride or gone for a Asserted run. Asserted himself. I too. think on a number of occasions this week, there have been, he's reacted in situations differently from the way he normally would because he's just this kind of, he's an endorphin withdrawal, okay? So that, the, the physicality... I'm, I'm not laughing at you. The physicality of, of, of that yeah, response, you see this sort of taut bouncing, you know, he's obviously upset, because I think, to be fair, he doesn't, he would, he would hate the thought of denigrating a, a fallen soldier more than just about anything else, uh, to course. be fair. David, to, the solution. I, he should have some of what Andrew Robb's having. <laughs> just for a little while. Just till the hammy gets back into <laughs> operation. But can I just right, register people. one protest before we move yep. on? Here we are rewarding Channel 7. No, uh, we're, we're criticising no, no, Channel 7. because, again, inevitably, it morphs onto, oh, it's discussion Tony Abbott. I just think this is outrageous, and I'm not surprised. I've never seen a public reaction against what the, a, a Canberra journalist has done stronger than this. I defy any of you to recall an incident like this where people have been so incandescent with rage, bombarding switchboards, bombarding... But it back. is entirely unfair to represent the Canberra Press Gallery or journalism more generally as being uncritical of what Channel 7 did. They have been very no, critical no, of it. And we have that. been, and we have been again this no, 